This video is a part of the template series, which assumes you already know the basics of how templates work, as well as how the ones available on the ecosystem work together using the interact event and other such conventions. More info in the description of this video. Hello and welcome to the light FSM template tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the light template from the ecosystem on the lights in your game. So first things first, you're going to want to open up the ecosystem. You can find it here in your Playmaker menu, add-ons, ecosystem, ecosystem browser, and I just searched light here. Brings up this template called light. And I already have it, so you can see it's green and it says imported, but you can also hit a little get button if you don't have it already. Okay, so once you have that, you'll find it here in your Playmaker custom templates folder in the interaction folder. So if I just select the asset, and let me just hide this project tab. If I select the asset, head over to Playmaker editor, you can see the FSM here. So the description just says, the light template has four main values, the light game object, which you must provide. So what it's talking about is in the variables tab, there are these inputs. This unity light game object is the one thing that you must provide. So that just means a game object with a unity light component on it. The rest of the description says the light intensity underscore on, which is how bright the light is when it's on. So you can see the light intensity on here it currently has a value of one and the light color, which is the color of light. So you can see we have the input here, light color. Now we just have an initialization state, an off and on, and a blink on and a blink off state. To set this up, I'm going to select this spotlight game object here. So this is from Cinti's Polygon Prototype Pack, and it's just kind of like a little spotlight game model. There's not actually a light on it, which means that I have to right click on it first, go to light, and I'm gonna put in a spotlight. So it creates a little spotlight as a child of it. And you can see it's put it in here and it's already lined up pretty well, actually. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it up a little bit more on our spot angle, open it up. Okay, so now it looks like light is actually coming from this spotlight. To actually do something with this, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the spotlight game object, the model part, and I'm going to add a sphere collider to it. Okay, and that's just so we can interact with it. This template makes use of the interact event, which if you aren't familiar with the interact event convention that we've been using in tutorials and the templates on the ecosystem, be sure to check out the description of this video for more details. Uh, with this sphere collider on here now, that means that we'll be able to send ray casts and detect it and send the interact event to it. Now we need to add the FSM template. So I could right click, use template, objects, light. Okay, so now we have this light template on it. And you can see all of our input variables that we were just taking a look at a minute ago. And really the only thing we need to do is just drag and drop our spotlight game object in here. And it should work automatically. So you can see that default on is not checked. So that means that this light will start as off if I hit play. So I'm gonna hit play, okay? And sure enough, you can see that it's off, okay? But if I click on it, it turns it on. Okay, so you click it on it, turns it on and off, okay? If I turn it off and I come over here to the light color value, I can change it to something like red. Okay, and now when I turn this light on, it's red. And if I turn on this blink option and I turn it off, now when I turn it on, it blinks. Okay, and while it's blinking, I could change this off interval and this on interval. So off interval is, of course, how long its blink is off. So if I set it to one second, it stays off longer than it stays on. And if I change this on interval to something even shorter, like 0.1, you'll see that it just flashes very quickly. And you could do some sort of strobe light thing if you change both of them to something very short. I'm gonna keep them at 0.5 for now. Okay, you can also change the light intensity. So it's currently at one, but if I change it to five, it gets a lot brighter. If I change it to 0.1, it's nearly imperceptible, so maybe 0.5. Okay, you can see it's kind of dim over here. I'm gonna leave it at one. All right, now the other thing is this default on option. So if I select it, this time when I press play, it starts in its on state. So if I click on it, I turn it off. But at runtime, it began as on. Now, if you're just giving this a test run and you don't have a character controller or some programmatic way of interacting with it, there's also an exposed 
interact event here in the inspector. So I could just click on this and it works just the same as if I was sending interact events to it with a character controller. That's how you use the light template from the ecosystem. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.